Welcome to Buff Zone. I'm Kyle Ringo. This is Ryan Thorburn. It's week two of training camp for the Buffs. And uh, Ryan, after week one, what uh, would have been your impressions? What have been your surprises? What do you think so far? Uh, I think it's really interesting, number one, that Jordan Webb, the new quarterback from Kansas, has begin, been getting a lot of praise from not only John Embry, but Rip Shearer and basically the whole staff for his experience and the way he's just picking things up so quickly and being a leader. So I think that bodes well, at least in terms of having a, a legitimate quarterback competition with Connor Wood. Um, number two, I think the defensive line gets talked about after every practice as, as really being aggressive and taking control and helping create more turnovers, something the defense really struggled at last year. And then the third thing that I've kind of noticed is uh, there's a core group of these freshmen that quote unquote get it that a lot of the players and coaches say are already getting up to speed and uh, kind of know what they're doing already. Yeah, I, to me, it's been the whole quarterback situation. Uh, just listening to John Embry talk about the quarterbacks on, on media day, he had interest, in, interesting stuff to say about each guy. Uh, he actually said Nick Hirschman is the most popular guy among his teammates, and and uh, Connor Wood you know, has a great arm and is starting to get it, but he also said that Connor Wood can be erratic, and so... I'm, I'm not sure what you take away from that when you hear John Embry say those things. And then, like you said, uh, he, he basically had a lot of praise for Jordan Webb. And, and Rip Schur, I, I found it interesting that Rip Schur was talking about Jordan Webb and, and the other quarterbacks, and he said that uh, it's a lot easier to make up 15 spring practices than it is 19 starts. And that, that was telling to me. That, that tells me that uh, on day one, when Jordan Webb arrived, he was already uh, right in the thick of the quarterback battle in the coaches' minds, regardless of how well he knew the offense or, or any of that. And and I think the more he picks up on the offense, he's going to have that much more respect from, from these coaches. And I, I kind of feel like he's right now a little bit of the front runner in my mind. I, I base that solely on, on what I've heard from the coaches about the quarterback battle and the body language when I'm sitting there talking to them. And, and, and that, you know, I, that's all I really have to go on because we can't watch practices. But, but uh, based on those things, my impression is that they're really impressed with Jordan Webb. CU's first scrimmage is going to be on Saturday. I think they'll probably narrow this thing down to two candidates, and I believe that will be Connor Wood and Jordan Webb. I know Nick Hirschman's popular, but you know usually pop, the most popular quarterbacks are the backup quarterbacks, and that's where I see that headed. So uh, I think it's going to be a good race between Wood and Webb. And um, you know, as you reported earlier, uh, there's a chance they could both be playing in regular season games and going back and forth until one of them really steps up. So uh, I still think that's the number one storyline from CU camp. And we'll see how that develops over the weekend, and uh, we'll have more next week.